Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new top 10. Today we have some of the biggest helicopter in the world. So here for you the cargo helicopter list. For this time the list is uh, quite big so I decided to split the list in uh, different sections. So this time we have the heavy lift uh, part so from the medium to the heavy lift and then also a list for the smaller one. So it's time to start and enjoy the list. The first machine of the list is the H92 Super Hawk from United States. It's being produced from 2004 and more than 300 of them were built until now. It cost 18 million dollars and it has a crew of two people. It can reach a speed of 306 km per hour and a cruise speed of 280 km per hour. It has a range of 1000 km and a ferry range of 1800 km. The service ceiling is 4270 meters. The Climb rate is 6.6 meters per second and for the power plant we have a total power of 3758 kilowatts. The length is 21 meters, an height of 4.7 meters, a rotor diameter of 17.2 meters, the empty weight is about 7000 kilograms while the maximum takeoff weight is 12500 kilograms. The maximum payload can be 4500 kilograms of cargo or up to 19 troops. At the ninth spot we can find the NH90 from France, Germany, Italy and the Netherlands. It's being produced from 2007 and more than 300 of them were built until now. It has a crew of two people and it costs 33 million dollars. It can reach a maximum speed of 300 km per hour with a cruise speed of 260 km per hour. The range is 950 km while the ferry range is 1600 km. It has a service sailing of 6000 meters and a climb rate of 11.2 meters per second. For the power plant we have 3324 kilowatts total. It has a length of 19.6 meters with a rotor diameter of 16.3 meters. The empty weight is 6400 kilograms while the maximum takeoff weight is 10600 kilograms. For the payload we have 5000 kilograms of cargo and 12 liters or up to 20 troops for the passengers. The next machine is the Z18 from China. It's being produced from 2014 and it has a crew of two people. Unfortunately, we don't have information about the cost of this helicopter, but we know it can reach a maximum speed of 336 km per hour with a cruise speed of 275 km per hour. It has a range of 900 km with a ferry range of 1600 km. The service sailing is 9000 meters and the climb rate is 7 meters per second. For the power plant, we have three engines with a total power of 3921 kilowatts. The length of this guy is 23 meters with an height of 7 meters. The rotor diameter is 19 meters and we have an empty weight of 9800 kilograms with a maximum takeoff weight of 13800 kilograms. For the payload we have 5000 kilograms of cargo or 14 liters and up to 27 troops. At the seventh spot we have the H225M. It's being produced from 2000 and more than 90 of them were built until now. It costs 20 million dollars and it has a crew of two people. It can reach a maximum speed of 325 km per hour with a cruise speed of 285 km per hour. The maximum range is 860 km with the full load and the ferry range is 1350 km. For the service sailing we have 6100 meters with a climb rate of 7.4 meters per second. The power plant is composed by two engines with a total power of 3500 kilowatts. It has a length of 19.5 meters, an height of 4.6 meters and a rotor diameter of 16.2 meters. The empty weight is 5330 kilograms with a maximum takeoff weight of 11200 kilograms. For the payload we have 5670 kilograms or up to 28 troops. At the sixth spot we have the AW101 from Italy and the United Kingdom. It's being produced from 1999 and more than 200 of them were built until now. It costs 20 million dollars and it has a crew of three people. It can reach a maximum speed of 309 km per hour with a cruise speed of 278 km per hour. It has a range of 833 km with a ferry range of 1400 km. The service sailing is 4575 meters with a climb rate of 10 
10.2 meters per second. The power plant is made by uh, three engines with a total power of 4698 kilowatts. It has a length of 20 meters, an height of 6.6 .6 meters, a rotor diameter of 18.6 meters. The empty weight is 10,500 kilograms with a maximum takeoff weight of 14,600 kilograms. For the payload we have 6,000 kilograms for uh, cargo and up to 45 troops or 30 liters. And the first machine of the top 5 is the MI-38 from Russia. It's being produced from 2017, so it's a very new machine, and 15 of them were built until now. It has a crew of 3 people and it costs 15 million dollars. It can reach a maximum speed of 300 km per hour with a cruise speed of 285 km per hour. It has a range of 900 km and a ferry range of 1200 km. The service sailing is 5900 meters with a climb rate of 9.2 meters per second. For the power for the power plant we have uh, two engines with a total power of 4200 kilowatts. It has a length of uh, 19.7 meters, an height of 5.1 meters, a rotor diameter of 21.1 meters. The empty weight is 8300 kilograms with a maximum takeoff weight of 16200 kilograms, almost double. For the payload we have 7000 kilograms of cargo or up to 32 troops. At the fourth position we have the GH-47 Chinook from United States. It has a crew of three people, it's been produced from 1961 and more than 1200 of them were built until now. It cost 38.5 million dollars and the latest upgrade, the CH-47F, was made in 2006. It can reach a maximum speed of 315 km per hour with a cruise speed of 296 km per hour. The maximum range is 740 km with cargo and the ferry range is 2,250 km. The service sailing is 6,100 meters with a climb rate of 7.7 .7 meters per second. For the power plant we have two engines with a total power of almost 7,000 kW. It has a length of 30 meters with an height of 5.7 meters. The rotor diameter is 18.3 meters and it has two main rotors. The empty weight is 11,150 kg while the maximum takeoff weight is 22,700 kg. For the payload we we have 12,700 kilograms of cargo or up to 55 troops or 24 liters. And we started the top 3 with the MI-10 from Soviet Union or now Russia. It's being produced from 1962 and 55 of them were built until now. It has a crew of 4 people and it cost 18.9 million dollars. The latest upgrade, the MI-10K, was made in 1970. It can reach a maximum speed of 350 km per hour with a cruise speed of 228 km per hour. The range is 500 km and a ferry range of 1,100 km. The service the sailing is 4,750 meters with a known climb rate unfortunately, while the power plant is composed by two engines with a total power of 8,200 kilowatts. It has a length of 41 meters, it's very big, and an height of 7.8 meters. The rotor diameter is 35 meters, it has an empty weight of 25,450 kilograms with a maximum takeoff weight of 43,700 kilograms. For the payload we have 15,400 kilograms of cargo or up to 50 troops or 28 liters. Ok, we are almost to the end and for the second spot we have the CH-53 from United States. It's being produced from 1981, 234 of them were built until now, it has a crew of 3 people and a cost of 87.1 million dollars. It's a little expensive. The latest upgrade, the CH-53K King Stallion, was made in 2018, just the last year. It can reach a maximum speed of 315 km per hour with a cruise speed of 280 km per hour. It has a range of 800 and 50 km, while the ferry range is 1,600 km. It has a every sailing of 4,400 meters with a climb rate of 13 meters per second. The power plant is made by three engines with a total power of 16,800 kW. The length of this baby is only uh, 30 meters, while the height is 8.5 meters. The rotor diameter is 24 meters, and the empty weight is 15,000 kg. The maximum takeoff weight is 38,400 kilograms while the payload is uh, 15,900 kilograms or up to 55 troops or 37 liters.
and it's final time for the first machine of the list that it's the Mi-26 from Soviet Union and now Russia. It's being produced from 1982, 316 of them were built until now, it has a crew of 5 people and it costs 23.1 million dollars. Quite cheap, yes, cheap. The latest upgrade, the Mi-26 T2V, was made in 2018, just the last year, also this one. It can reach a maximum speed of 295 km per hour with a cruise speed of 255 km per hour. It has a range of 800 km and a ferry range of 1920 km. The service sailing is 4600 m with a climb rate of 8.1 m per second. For the power plant we have two engines with a total power of 16760 kW. And now the best part. It has a length of 40 meters, an height of 8.1 meters, a rotor diameter of 32 meters, the empty weight is 28,200 kilograms, while the maximum takeoff weight is 56,100 kilograms. The maximum payload of this little baby is 25,000 kilograms. It can transport up to 150 troops or uh, 60 liters. This monster has a bigger payload than many aircraft. For example, one of the most famous is the C-130, the Hercules, and this one has a bigger payload. It's really, really impressive. Wow! Also today I have a little bonus for you, the CH-54 from United States. I wanted to place this machine in the list but unfortunately was retired in 1991. But it's very famous and I think many of you have seen this one, especially in the civil version, the S-64 Skycrane. The name is actually perfect for this machine because it's really a flying crane. It has a payload of almost 9000 kilograms so if I wanted to put in the list, it would be at the fifth spot more or less, uh, above the Mi-38 and under the CH-47. But I still wanted to share with you in the list, uh, also if uh, it's only a bonus, because uh, it's one of my favorite machines ever. So I've seen the Firefighter version when I was young and uh, I don't know, I felt in love with this machine and I wanted to share it with you. Okay, the video finished here, I hope you like it. If yes, there is a playlist here where you can find more videos like this one, so you can also watch the others if you liked. And if you like this precise video, let me know in the comments so I can make also the other two variants I told you before for the medium and uh, assault type. And remember to leave a like if you liked the video, to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet, click on the bell to receive a notification. and. Remember, every Saturday you will see a new video about military machines. So see you in the next video. Bye.